Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I am here today to paint on some little canvas bags that I got and I ordered these off of Amazon and I'll measure them for you so that you can see and I'll try to remember to link them in my Amazon links in the description box below this video. Uh, let's see, these are about seven and a half wide by eight and a quarter seven and a half by eight and a quarter is what they measure and so I thought these would be super fun to put like a little journal in. you couldn't do a big journal but a little journal might be kind of fun and so we're going to do a little fall theme thing today we're taking a break from the cat journal I had a few projects I, I needed to do for Arteza and so I'm using their um, fabric paint and let me show you this particular one it's the set of 24 fabric colors. That's what it looks like. So you get 24 um, fabric paints acrylic. So I thought we could do like a little um, pumpkin on the front and then I'll give you an idea of kind of how I would use this. And we're going to be also using one of their fabric uh, markers in black. Okay. So I hope you're all having a nice day. We're just all kind of hanging out here. I've got a few errands to run. And then, don't know what the day will bring. I'm just going to kind of go right in the middle and I'm just winging it. So um, you could probably do this with other acrylic paints too. The nice part about fabric paints is that obviously if you need to, you can wash it and the paint will wash out. But, um, you know, use what you've got. I am an affiliate of Arteza, so I do get a small commission from any sales um, I get through my links. So that's pretty awesome that they do that. And they're very kind and send me all kinds of wonderful things to work with. And I'm not, you know, I wouldn't um, tell you guys that if it wasn't a good product because it really, they really do have good products. So it's kind of fun to do something fallish because I started working on um, Christmas and I know that we only have November and then it's going to be that time, but man, it just seems like we didn't even really get fall. <laughs> I always kind of feel that way though because fall is one of my favorite seasons and I feel like it is always cut short along with spring. So. That's just how I feel about it. And I'm not crazy about winter, so I never really want winter. But I do love that little bit of cool down in the fall. And we did our fall journals super early, so... Kind of all messed up with time. So I'm sure you can tell I'm going to paint a pumpkin. <laughs> I guess I could tell you the colors I'm using. That would probably be helpful, huh? So I've got orange red is the orange yellow ochre. Those are the two that I'm using right now. And I'll tell you the colors of other ones as I go along just so that there's no confusion. I just like to pick up a couple different colors. I'm not, um, you know, I've never had any training or schooling in any of this. I just do it the way I like to do it. So I'm sure there are other ways <laughs> that may be better. Oh, and I wanted to say, I did put a piece of cardboard inside of the bag just so that, um, I mean, if it got on the inside of the bag, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but you probably don't want it to soak through to the back. You know, that wouldn't look that great, so that's why that piece of cardboard's there. And I like to have some water because um, acrylics can, you know, they get kind of a skin on them, and then 
hard to grab them when you want them. Um, I think I need a smaller brush. Sorry. <laughs> So I hope you're all surviving all the crazy weather everywhere. It seems like some people still have kind of hot weather and others are having snow, which I'm really glad I'm not the one having snow at the moment. But if you love it, then you're probably really enjoying it. realize there was a, that was a hair, but I guess it was just the way the paint was, nope, there is a hair somewhere, <laughs> sorry, it's probably a Pasha hair, because you can't see them, they get in our um, eyes, and it's, his fur is like super duper fine, and so, and it's white, so if you get a strand of that in your eye, it's, oh like it gets all tangled up around your eyelashes and I mean any cat hair obviously in your eye isn't gonna feel good but it's just really hard to like see it when you look in the mirror or anything and get a hold of it so yeah feel free to um, fast forward if you'd like to through this part. I know this isn't super exciting, but if you're crafting along with me, then, you know, hopefully you're working on something fun to keep you occupied. I just thought these bags were a great size for, um, like a little journal. Bless you, Theron. I think that kid's ever going to stop sneezing. Maybe when winter comes. We've had a freeze though, so should be doing better. But he helped me outside in the yard yesterday, so I'm sure that didn't help at all. Okay, I need a little more orange for our big fat pumpkin here. I keep doing that. I can't do the <laughs> outline with that big fat brush. I have used these acrylics by Arteza before there, or these uh, fabric paints. They're, they're pretty nice fabric paints. Not that I do a whole lot of fabric painting, but I do like them. It'd be fun though, you could do these um, just simple pumpkins, you know on t-shirts for kids for Thanksgiving or like a sweatshirt or whatever and or make like little treat bags if you have grandkids these bags would be great for like little treat bags too could put a little like coloring those little coloring books in there and a little package of crayons that would be super fun we used to have stuff like that at our church for the kids and those were a lifesaver I'll tell you so, so that's the gold with the yellow just to keep them occupied I don't know why I I did use put other colors on there I'm probably not even gonna use them just 
just kind of adding a little bit of this yellow ochre. Some lighter spots. I love this wine red color that's in this um, set. It's just a really cool fall color, I think. Some water on there. Got too much water. So I just painted another one of these so that hopefully it'll be close to dry. If not, we might have to pause for a minute before I can finish the video to get these dry. Bless you. Now she's sneezing. And I know there's really not red in pumpkins, but um, just to give you that fall feel for it. Just to outline these a little bit. A little tricky where there's lumps and bumps in the bag. Okay, so that just kind of gives you a little bit more of a edge around there. A little bit more. Got a little bit too much water on there. And I'm just using a dollar store little palette thing. I got them when school started. So I don't know if they still have them, but they're just little trays meant to put stuff in for you know, kids at school. Alright, so we'll do the green part and then we will see if my other one is dry. I've got a different... Let me try this one. I know this, I think this is a watercolor brush. I, like I said, I, I just use whatever I've got. So just use what you have and what works for you. You don't have to have anything fancy to do this kind of stuff. I'm grabbing a little, um, I've got forest green and espresso brown, and I'm just putting a little bit of that brown in there. Uh, to give it some variation. I might grab some of this yellow too, yellow ochre. And this 
paint it is pretty thick so I have been adding a little water and so sometimes you have to go back and go over stuff like right here I can see I'm gonna have to go back because I had too much water in my brush so just be wary of that or aware I guess not wary but And you know the good part about pumpkins is they're not perfect. They're not perfectly round. Their stems aren't perfect. They're pretty kooky crazy usually if you get looking at them. So that's the nice part. You don't have to try to make it look like something very specific. Put that in the wrong one. Don't want to mix the waters up too much because otherwise you get them all gross. Sorry, I get concentrated when I get painting. It's probably why I don't do much painting on, <laughs> um, you know, videos, because it just gets, I'm just making this even worse. Because I can't concentrate on this and talk at the same time. Okay. I'm going to leave that to dry. Now let's check the other one and see how it's going. I can find where did I put it. Oh my goodness, where did I set that? Okay, well, hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. So I... <laughs> it right next to me I don't know why I couldn't see it but you know tunnel vision um it was fine anyway because I needed to dry it it wasn't all the way dry so we're going to use our black fabric marker and just kind of do some edges on this because these um you know sometimes the edges don't totally get done so it makes it just look kind of finished when you do this and I'm not going to totally connect my lines kind of like with the watercolor thing I think we might let's do some pumpkin faces on these since we're doing a supposed to be doing a Halloween thing <laughs> so let's see a few other lines on this just for some details sorry they're um, blowing out sprinklers in my neighborhood and so the things are loud you know so I'm gonna just do kind of a silly face kind of like my uh, stamps that I did I'm 
just color these in. And you could um, just go in with, I like to leave just a little bit of lip here and there on the eye, like, you know, where you might see the, um, oh my gosh, Amy Wartz. Sorry, I get doing this and I can't think. Leave this little spot kind of orange. It works better when you have white in the background, but we can paint that in with some white too. In fact, that's what I'll do. I'll just put little white spots after, after the fact. Um, but yeah, those orange, the lip in there, like you would have if you carved a pumpkin just a little bit. Yeah, those compressors, those big, huge compressors that they use to blow out the sprinklers are so noisy. So this is the one I did earlier. Obviously, it's got two pumpkins and not one. But take that a little closer to that edge there. And I'll do the same thing with the mouth and hopefully I don't have my head in the shot. I'm just kind of, and I don't try to make these perfect. I just kind of wing it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I did add a little bit of gold, the gold, this uh, light gold, just brushes of it so that there's spots that are a little shiny. But you could definitely leave those pumpkins just as pumpkins, obviously, if you wanted more of a, just a fall theme. Just kind of doing the halloween -y thing for Arteza. That a little bit thinner. loud. Wow. You guys might not be able to hear it. I have no idea, but it's loud. All right. Then we're going to do this one over here. Oops, I forgot to do this. Theron's playing with Pasha, who doesn't always like it when he does that. As you saw in that video, he can be a very salty little guy black all over my hand. That's not good. Just want to bring the definition out a little bit in that part of the pumpkin. I like to make those kooky noses too. So this one's having fun, but the other one's not. <laughs> I went all the way to the edge. These markers work really well. 
I mean, look at that. That's on that canvas. That's pretty good. Can't touch it because it's wet like paint. <laughs> has much to say. She's yelling at Thern. She loves to yell at Thern. Talking to all the cats out there, Jules. So everybody says, my cat, here's your cat, and goes crazy. Well, she is crazy, so I can see that she probably makes other cats crazy. Her and away. rubbing on the, my um, book binding cradle. She's making it flop all over the place. What are you sniffing and sniffing and sneezing about? Do you find a dusty something? Wouldn't surprise me. you. So this will probably be my definitely last fall type <laughs> Halloween. Definitely last Halloween, but unless I somewhere get a minute before Thanksgiving. And don't forget, Arteza is having a Halloween sale, so definitely go check them out. I'll leave the link to their um, store on in my description box below this video. So that's why we're doing the Halloween-y stuff. To remind people of their Halloween sale. And also, if you use my Crafty Cat, you'll get 10% off if there is something that you want that's not on sale. And all that will be in that description box. I'm just going to do like a little... Kind of the light in his eyes, you know, where the light's hitting. And you want to keep him on the same side of the eyes because otherwise it, um, it doesn't look right, you know. So if you put it on the far side on this one, put it on the far side on that one is what I'm saying. Bless you. You're really having a hard time today. Yeah, I 
All righty. So that is that one. And I thought it would be fun also um, to put one of these on there. This is one of those clusters that I made when I was doing the um, spooky stamps, the little bags and things. Um, so I added a fall felt leaf and I just put a little bit of the gold, the light gold on there. So I thought that would be fun to add to it like up here. And I think I'm just going to staple it. And I know I already have a staple there. I probably should have just stapled it all together, but um, I wasn't thinking ahead. <laughs> so I'm going to just staple it up here in the corner. You could also, I mean, you could embellish this kind of thing a lot because you could put some uh, strips, like little strips of fabric up around the handles. Because I think you could, well, I don't know if you could get that on a, I couldn't get that on my sewing machine. So, but uh, you might be able to use Fabri-Tac and do something like that to decorate those up a little bit more. But there is my funny little Halloween bag. And then on this one, I don't think this one's all the way dry yet. Yeah, it's still a little bit wet, but at least you could see it. I think I would probably go around, you know, with the black just for the definition and then not do the face on it but um, two different ways. Oh, and I was going to show you. That's what I was going to show you. So if you have a cute little journal like this, this is one that Allie, um, the Cockney Crafter, made me for my birthday, and it's fabulous. I love it. But see, if you just have a little one like this, it fits right down in there. That's a super fun way to keep it, and you could, you know, make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to. Like, you know, something like this is a little bit bigger, and that one's from Melody. Thank you, Melody. Thank you, Allie. I love love these. Allie did such a great job on this, and she's do it working right now on a um, file folder journal. It's different than this one. It's not this one, but or this style, but it's a different style. But you might want to go check it out because she really does cool um, things with lots of pockets, and it's just fun. And then Melody has a shop called Willow Bee House. And I'll leave the description of both these ladies in, in the description box below. So, but um, just fun, smaller journals, you know, to fit inside of these. Or like I said, these would be great little treat bags for grandkids or something like that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you have an awesome day and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye now.